Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Now we are going to discuss about the product Animal Recognition and Identification with Deep Convolutional Neural Networks for Automated Wild Field Monitoring Now we are going to discuss about the abstract for the process Animal recognition is one of the most crucial elements of survival application where the vast amount of data is rapidly acquired In different from general scenarios, challenges of underwater image recognitions are posted by the poor image qualities and then the uncontrolled objects and the environment. And then the difficulty in the acquiring the representative samples. In addition with that, most existing feature extraction techniques are hired from the automation due to the involving human observations than the supervisions. Towards this end, we propose the animal recognition framework that consists of the fully unsupervised and then the semi-supervised feature learning techniques and then the error resilient classifiers. Object spots are installed based on the saliency and then the labeling of match objects spots correctly. A yeah, non-rigid pot model is then land based on the fitness separations and then the discrimination criterion for the classifier and unsupervised and then the semi-supervised clustering approach generated as a binary class hierarchy where such as the node is the classifiers. Hence this process will consist of the three elements such as the segmentation feature extraction and then the classification. In this segmentation port the animal regions will be extracted and then the other backgrounds will be neglected. And then the feature extraction the animal features such as the patterns will be extract from the animal regions and then the classification will classify the species among that the present in the data set. For example when I give the one image as an input means the features will be extracted and then the classifications will match with the databases images and then shows whether the which type of animals is present in the image. Now we are going to discuss about the flow diagram for the process. At first the input image is taken from the data set. The data set consists of the several species of animal images. After acquiring the image from the data set, the pre-processing will be carried out. In this pre-processing step, the resize and then the noise removal will be carried out. In the resize, the image is converted into an aspect ratio as 256 crash 256. Hence, the number of rows present in the image will be 256 and then the number of columns present in the image will be the 256. After the image resize, the noise removal will be carried out by using the Gaussian filtering method. After the noise removal, the segmentation will be carried out by using the k-means clustering method. By applying the k-means clustering method, the animal regions will be clustered and then the other backgrounds will be eliminated. The eliminated, uh, eliminated regions will be the black color and then the animal region that is the foreground regions will be in the colored form. After the segmentation, the feature extraction will be carried by using the convolutional neural network algorithm. By using this convolutional neural network, the feature patterns will be extracted from the animal region. After the feature extraction, the feature matching that is the classification will be done by using the KNN classification method. KNN is represented as an K nearest neighbor. By applying this algorithm, the feature matching will be done by using the two kinds of features such as the test feature and then the train features. By matching these results only, the species of the animals will be recognized and then displayed as a message box. After the classification, the performance will be evaluated by means of the two parameters like the precision and recall. By using these two parameters, we can justify our process is efficient or not. Now we are going to discuss about the initial running procedure for the process. At first open the MATLAB 2015B and change the current directory. If you want to execute the file means just right click in the main file.m and select the option run. 
now you can see the folder dataset just open the dataset folder and select any one image from the dataset now in the dataset folder you can see the several species of animals present in the dataset in that corresponding dataset you can select any one image after the selection of the corresponding image the process will be automatically done the figure 1 represents the input image which I have taken from the dataset with the title input image. After the selection of the input image from the dataset, the pre-processing will be carried out. This pre-processing step, first one is the resize. The image resize will be done to reduce the size by using the downscaling method. After the resize, the filtering will be done by using the Gaussian filtered method. Hence, the filtered image is shown in the figure 3 with the title filtered image. Hence, if the noise present in the image means it will be reduced by using the filtering method. After the filtering, the labeled image is generated by means of the clustering method. Hence, the here we have the two kinds of labels the backgrounds will have the index value as 1 then the foreground will have the index value as 2 by this index value we can segregate the image into an two category first one is the this is the background image this is the foreground image in the foreground image the region of interest that is the animal regions will be extracted and then the other regions that is the background regions will be eliminated so here the index 2 that is the cluster 2 will be the region of interest so in the command window we can give the 2 as an input then click enter now the segmented image is shown here segmented image will be the like this after the segmentation the classification will be done by using the KNN classification hence the identified type is the species is wolf after the classification, the performance metrics will be evaluated by means of the accuracy, sensitivity and specificity. The accuracy value will be approximately 98%, then the sensitivity value will be the approximately 98%, then the specificity value will be the approximately 99%. Hence, the corresponding value will be plotted as the graph by using the bar chart format.